how to become a nurse in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, from the United Kingdom. So if you are interested in this topic, stay tuned and watch till the end. Hello, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Balestin. If you're joining for your very first time, you're highly welcome. For my returning subscribers, I love you all guys. Thank you so much for your support. Today's video, we'll be talking about how to become a nurse in the United Arab Emirates from the United Kingdom. So if you like this topic, stay tuned and watch till the end. So many nurses keep commenting on my videos on how to move from the united kingdom to 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 practice their nursing in the united arab emirates they have looked at the salaries the salaries are better and other things are better however i made a video comparing the salary of all my life in the united arab emirates and my life in the united kingdom and many people were criticizing that video it's my experience. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm not here to talk about my experience, but I'm here to state to the facts of nursing in the United Arab Emirates coming from the United Kingdom. If you are a nurse in the United Kingdom and you are planning to go and practice in the United Arab Emirates, you have to take into consideration. First thing was your nursing education in the United Kingdom or did you school elsewhere and came to the United Kingdom and practice and you are practicing as a nurse? When they are doing your credential evaluation in the United Arab Emirates, where you were educated, it counts. So where you were educated gives them, already it has a background on how much they are going to pay you. Secondly, your nationality. What is your nationality at the time of when you are looking for a job in the united arab emirates are you a british or are you from another country because they are looking to employ british expert nurses so if you are a british nurse they will consider you as a british expert however a nurse with that same qualification coming from a developing country will not receive the same salary as a british nurse coming from the united kingdom to practice nursing in the United Arab Emirates. That is the fact. So they consider that your, your salary in your home country, they want to give you something better. But however, what they are giving you in the United Arab, eh, what they give you, maybe you're coming from Cameroon and they want to think about the nursing salaries in Cameroon. So if they offer you like 7,000 dirhams, most employers there, they want to think of where you are coming from before they, before the, when they are offering the salary. And employing someone from the United Kingdom, they can get, do if you do your exams and everything, you can get your employment while you are still in the United Kingdom easily and move to the United Arab Emirates. They will give you accommodation, they will give you transportation, they, they will give uh, your kit allowance for education. Most developing country nurses, they move to the Emirates and they are looking for jobs. So you are the one looking for jobs. But they know that if you are looking for a job while you are still in your home country and you are still practicing nursing in your home country, they are taking you from another employer from your home country to move you to their country to practice because they need your skills. So those are the things that you want to consider. The next thing I will want to talk about is for you to become a nurse, if you are a British trained nurse and you are a British, you need to still take the Dubai Health Authority license or Abu Dhabi license. You have to do your verification. The verification is called data flow. Once you do your data flow, they will approve you to sit for the test. This test, you, I don't, I'm not sure if it, is, if it can be done out of the United Arab Emirates. You can go on a vacation to Dubai when you are there, you take this exam so you can book your exams while you are still in the United Kingdom. Then go to the United Arab Emirates, maybe for a day or two, and sit for these exams. Once you make it through with these exams, they are going to give you a, an eligibility letter. This eligibility letter will help you seek employment. The results are issued right, right there. It's like an instant result. When you come back to, this, uh, to the United Kingdom, you now start looking for employers according to 
what you want you negotiate with them the salary and everything they know that you are having their license they are sure that you can come and practice as a nurse so you can debate on what you want be very be, be rest assured that the nursing in the united arab emirates i cannot say let me not compare because i've not been to all the hospitals in the united kingdom but i see that they are more sophisticated when it comes to equipment and the workload is less as compared to the workload in the united kingdom so if you are moving to the united arab emirates to practice nursing work coming from the united kingdom you'll find it a little bit easier and also the employers they always offer you like accommodation transportation they offer you or uh, allowance if you have kids for your allowance for your kids tuition fee your salary is tax-free and also you have uh, a flight ticket to go back to your home country yearly 40 days vacation so and they will set your hours of work but one thing for sure is the work and the work environment is good you see how the nurse from the united kingdom moving to work in the united arab emirates has benefits I bet you a nurse from a developing country will not have the same benefits. A nurse from Canada will have the same benefits. A nurse from the United States will have the same benefits. But those that did their nursing from, let's say, my home country, Cameroon, except you came into the United Kingdom and did specialization and other things and you became a British national, you are not going to have the same benefit except you are fortunate enough to have the type of job I had when it was COVID period. I had a, I had a, a job during the COVID period. It was paying me well. I had accommodation and everything. But I left because I knew that after that period, I wouldn't have that same opportunity. And also, the money I was even seeing that it was gold to me because I was being paid that up to that amount. Nurses that are from the from these uh, nurses that are from from developed countries like the united kingdom they are going to pay them like three times that amount nurses that they take from the united kingdom they will not pay them anything less than from twenty thousand to thirty five thousand dirhams and also they if you are a specialty nurse you can earn up to thirty five thousand dirhams per month despite the fact that they are giving you accommodation the accommodation is not a room they are going to give you a house to live there with your family even if you are alone they'll give you a house to live there with all the amenities and everything so that is how if you want to become a nurse in the united arab emirates from the united kingdom those are the procedures that you go through do your data flow take your exams and then look for your employer and eventually when your offer letter is granted they will now process you a work permit it is not because you are a british that you will not require a work permit still british are allowed to move to the united arab emirates for a month these are free but if you are moving to work in the united arab emirates you need a work visa so they are going to grant you either a two years or three years work visa depending on your employer it's actually going to be processed free of charge you don't need to pay for it they give you your emirates id and if you're your your dependents are coming you have to make uh you have to now process their own visas and their ids however they are going to be under your visa so it's not like an independent visa so if you're having like insurance and other things it's going to cover your entire family so that is what i've gathered for you so thank you so much for watching give a thumbs up to this video if you like this content and kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you so much. For